What up peeps, it's me again, Rich, and I'm back with you once more. Before I go on, I want to wish every Malaysian out there Happy Merdeka Day! It's Independence Day, 31st August. It's going to be quite a celebration. Decided to be in yellow as well, just to add some colors and make it nice, bright, and cheerful. So, vape on, let the good times roll, and be safe, all right? With that said, I'm going to be checking out a subum tank with you. <laughs> Another subum tank, you're right. How many has it been already? But this is quite the subum tank, I tell you. Uh, I'm probably also going to be the last reviewer to be reviewing this tank. <laughs> Just about every other reviewer has already done it. So anyway, this tank has got every reviewer saying nothing but good things said about it. And now including myself as well. Because this arrived to me a couple of weeks back. I was so tied up with all the other reviews, churning one after another out, you know. And uh, one finally I decided to just pick up, you know, one of these tanks and uh, tried out the RBA instead. It comes with a pre, uh, what do you call, coil, and I just had to put some cotton in it. I took out the stock coil and used the RBA. And when I vaped on it, you know, before that I was wondering what was all the hoo-ha about. After vaping on it, I thought to myself, when all of them are saying it's good, it is good, I tell you. I'm gonna take a vape and show you. Good vapor, awesome flavor. What else do you want? Let's go ahead and check out the Crown Sabon Tank by UL. You know, if I asked you what would you look for in a Sabon Tank, you'd probably say, I want top fill. Top fill, no problem. You can do top fill plus you can fill up from the bottom as well. This thing does both ways, all right? Vapor, you just saw it. You just saw it. It produces really huge clouds, all right? And flavor, if you like flavor, this thing is sweetness, okay? The flavor that comes out of it is awesome. Looks, it's got to look the look of love. <laughs> I can't sing to save my own life, excuse me. <laughs> Trying to do that ABC song back in the 80s, look of love. Anyway, uh, it's got great looks, very handsome looking <laughs> tank here. RBA, a lot of us like, you know, our sub home tanks that come with an RBA so we can build our own coils and things like that. And it does come with an RBA. In fact, I'm using an RBA right here, right now. I'm going to take a talk. This is too good. Mm, super easy to build on, especially when it comes to screwing down the wires, you know, I love it. Uh, it's very similar to the uh, Kanger sub tank where you just place the coil on top and you just screw it down. You don't even have to bend the wire. It's that easy. Ease of use, you want to clean it up and things like that. Easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you just have to detach every part they're all detachable, clean it up and assemble it back and you're back to, you know, some good vaping again. All that said, you know, this thing comes with a whole line of uh, what do you call stock coils, uh, which is sold separately with diff different, different resistance as well, like 0 0.15, 0 0.25 and things like that. And <laughs> even got nickel build sold as well, which we'll come to afterwards. I'll show you, you know, these uh, coils that comes in packs of fours. So anyway, without further ado, Let's dive down, get into some close-up, take a good look of this bad boy, come back, we'll vape on it, I'll leave you with my thoughts, talk about it, tell you how much it is, and for Malaysians, I know a place where you can get this. All right, so let's go for it, I'll catch you later. This is the box, plastic box or jewel case, they want to call it. Um, that's your tank in there, two spare coils, you've got a glass, and markings of the side, branding and so forth, as usual, and uh, you have product features written about it. You have this little slip here that slips out, this thing to hold the box together. And also it has a cellophane tape that sticks all around to wrap it. Okay, so more markings, contents of the uh, package in there. Remove the cover and you have your spare coils. Just let me show you the spare coils here. The spare coils are actually marked dual and 0.25 ohms at the bottom here. That's the marking. Your airflow is there. It comes with a silicon cover here to protect the uh, coil in there. And the coils, the wires are actually made from food grade stainless steel 316. Dual coil in there, one sitting on top of the other. And you have your Japanese cotton. That's your juice well. And advice to you, 
to actually prime the coil drip juice 0.3 to 0.5 ml in there just to soak up the coil so that you don't get a uh, dry hit and also don't burn the coil uh, before they get saturated. Okay, so you ha have three coils here, two here, and one in the tank. This is your spare py not Pyrex, sorry, excuse me. This is quartz tank. In fact, it's even better than your Pyrex tank because quartz tank are known to withstand heat, higher heat temperatures compared to other glasses. Okay, so quartz, good quality tank, glass tank here. So that's a spare. And if you take out the uh, cover and the whole package underneath, you have spares, O rings. You have Sitka gel to keep it dry, instruction cards on how to fill up and things like that, and also more instruction cards, which, if I take it out, tells you, you know, the parts that mix up the uh, whole entire atomizer, product specifications, features, how to use, and things like that, the usual. And here you have an email address in case you need customer service, you can actually write to them. As you can see, it's got an adjustable airflow system here and it clicks very nicely so that it doesn't spin around and you know by accident you change your airflow system so it clicks and you can actually control it smallest bigger 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 and this is completely open all these nice knurlings around which is very helpful for you to you know grip and disassemble your tank very handsome looking tank beautiful drip tip removable 510 it's got a big bore at the top narrows down to a smaller bore at the bottom held on by two o-rings silicon rings nice and snug in there at the bottom you have an unadjustable center pin there and you have some engravings of UL's website www.ul.cc okay nice very easy to disassemble all the parts to make uh, you know to do some cleaning if you want to all you got to do is just take it out one part Unscrew this, take out this, unscrew the top. Very, very, very easy. You can even take out this as well if you wish to. All anti clockwise, and you have silicon ring at the bottom to hold up against the tank. Likewise, here as well, there's a silicon ring on top. That's your quartz glass. That's your juice holes for you to fill up your tank thread it to put it back just do it that way make sure you sit properly onto the uh, grooves or the threads sorry finger tight put it back all right that's it that's all there is to it sorry wrong side okay and your drip tip so top fill bottom fill if you want to do top fill this way you see the juice fill holes big large fill holes no problem with any of your pointed juice needles push it in there fill it up and off you go all right simple and if you want to you can also fill up your juice from the bottom if you so wish to same thing, fill holes really big. All right, so that's the top part of the tank. Let's get to the deck. This is your stock coil, 0.25 ohms dual coil. That's the one we were looking at earlier on. That's your air hole from the bottom O-ring. You've got your juice holes. Make sure, once again, just to remind you, prime your coil before you start you know, firing it so that you don't burn your cotton dual coil one on top of the other food grade stainless steel 316 wires your airflow ring that's about it so put it back screw it back on oh by the way all you got to do is just take it out replace it with your rba which i'm going to show you afterwards screw it in and you're in business if you want to use your rba so you want to want to fill up your tank bottom side or top side and then if you fill it up from the bottom close it up like that and you're all set to go this tank can handle up to 4 ml of uh, juice in there and also uh, the maximum power that the tank can hold is 120 watts 
Let's take a look at the uh, spare coils that comes in a pack of fours. So that's the spare coils you can buy from the shop. And at the back it says dual coil, all the different resistance, NI200 temperature control coil. This is a nickel 0.15 ohm coil. See the red marking here? So, warning, prime the coil with juice. That's it. You've got four coils in there. And this is your RBA. Comes with a screwdriver, same thing. Contents of the package. Opening it up, you have a little white screwdriver, courtesy of China. And underneath, you've probably got some spares as well. Yep, you do. Silica gel, two pre made coils for you, two spare Phillips head screws, o rings, Japanese cotton, little instruction leaflet in there, and your coil. Let's take out the coil and have a look at it. The RBA, not the coil, sorry. Juice holes right there and the juice holes goes right through. So when you put your cotton in, your cotton is gonna sit in front of the juice hole. That means you're not gonna get a leak. The cotton will soak up the juice markings here. This is RBA airflow. And to open it, sorry, I was about to turn it. No, it's not threaded. Pull and that's it. If you look closer, there's a little lip at the edge here. You see this? There's a little lip on both sides. What you have to do is there's two grooves here, one on each side or notch, you want to call it. Feel it, push, once it clicks in place, that's it, you're good, okay? But if it sits out of the groove, you won't be able to, you know, screw the tank back. So you just gotta click it and that's it. And then that's your pre-built uh, single coil there, which I've already used, so it's a bit dark. Peak insulators at the bottom and you've got two screws here, which is really easy. This is very similar to the uh, kangaroo sub -ohm tank where you just place your wires on it. You don't even have to bend it and just screw it down. Very, very easy. The lip sits properly and that's it. Just put it, put it back into the uh, base, screw it in and you're good to go. All right, so get back top side, we'll vape on it, talk some more. Right now, how much and where you can get one. In Malaysia, I do know it's priced between 150 to 200 ringgit, all right? Uh, I saw a seller on leilong.com selling it for 150 ringgit, but he's already sold out. But another place that I found out, uh, probably still in stock, is a company called vape to You Malaysia, okay? He's selling it for 200 ringgit. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box and also right here as well, so you can see. Uh, vape to You Malaysia is selling it for 200 ringgit, which comes like in a package complete with the tank, the RBA kit, and also vapor wire, which you can choose either 26 or 28 gauge, all right? And uh, they're at www.facebook.com slash vape to you dot my, all right? So you can give them a buzz, pick it up from them, 200 ringgit. Uh, in the US, a lot of shops are selling it, so you have no worries about that. I think it's retailing for about 35 US dollars. You just want to probably check out which retail shop is selling it at a, at a cheaper price and that's all. But that's about it. It's around that price range. I have a special surprise for my Malaysian vapors out there because it's Independence Day, 31st uh, August. It's celebration day. I'm going to do a giveaway. I've got two extras here that I have to give away so also I hope you don't mind uh, for those of you in other parts of the world because uh, we don't have it really have it here in Malaysia yet uh, there's only one shop that I found out it, that is selling it so for the benefit of our Malaysian vapors out there I'm gonna celebrate Merdeka Day with you by giving away two of these one each to each one of you so all you got to do is just uh, put a comment in the comment box and instead of using the random.org thingy to choose randomly, I'm just going to uh, pick out myself personally, two winners, and then I'm going to announce your names later. Okay, so two for Malaysians and good luck to you. That's about it, I guess. One more vape, we'll call it a wrap. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. This is the RBA that I'm using. I'm sorry, guys, to hold you up. 
I just wanted to show you how easy it is to interchange quilts. I want to change it, let's say, to my nickel build. All I got to do is just unscrew the bottom. It doesn't leak. The uh, juice is sitting in there nice and comfortably. The coil is here. I just unscrew the coil. This is the RBA. Take it out, put it aside. Get another coil, which is the nickel build. Screw it back on. Right now, you want to fill up my juice, you know, and top it up, no problem. Just put it back in there. Screw it back down. Back onto your mod. That's it. Where's my mod? Speaking of my mod, since this is a nickel build, I'm going to show you. Got my SX Mini here. And I've got actually preset it. Let me just set the uh, resistance. 0.153 resistance firing it at uh, 45 joules 400 degrees Fahrenheit let's see how she vapes see what I mean you saw the amount of smoke there or rather vapor there <laughs> it's got to warm up now it's warming up also because the stock coil i left it up for a while i was using it you know the juice sort of like leaked out and you know i had a tissue on it soaked up some of the juices so now it's got to get saturated again before i you know actually vape on it and get some vapor out of it now we're talking you see it's got to break in and just listen to the amount of airflow that you can get from this That's the nickel build that they have. So until I talk to you again, vape safe, let the good times roll. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. God bless. Bye for now. Cheers.